Hey YouTube, I got my hat, I got a new Royal Mile hat. I'm here with my camera woman, Vivian. She is got a GoPro strapped to the top of her head and we're gonna record a video uh, just to show the whole new space that I'm coming in. And I wanna stick a, a video of it like in the state, in the pre-state before everything gets put in. They actually haven't even cleaned up or anything in here. And it looks kind of kind of gross because um, they just had to vacate the tenants and they're gonna do some work. But I thought it'd be cool just to take a look and see what things kind of before they transform. And so I'm gonna give Vivi a tour here at the same time because she hasn't seen it. Are you ready to walk me, Viv? Yes. All right, cool. So we're gonna go over here. So this is let's do a quick turnaround of the space real quick. Give everybody a view. Just like go around. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna walk slowly. Okay, all right, so Vivi, this is the space. This is a thousand square foot, it's 25 foot wide. Um, I have no idea how long more of that is, um, probably 25, right? But it's 25 foot wide. In the front is an office area we'll show you. We have a, bath, a kind of basic bathroom. I don't wanna show you because it's not that nice or anything, but like the bath, trust me, the bathroom's behind here. Uh, left of these shelving units, it's really nice, these pallet racks, these are going to be great for coffee, uh, so it's a lot more for my storage than I have been using. I still want to use all the racking systems that I had, but this one's really great, so this can really hold stuff, like really, really heavy stuff on here. So we'll probably put like bags and pallets. I think we're going to put it over there is my thought. We'll put it over, we'll take this rack and we'll probably have it like facing out, that way when we load all the, the coffees in through the gate, We'll just have them kind of go this way. And I think what we're gonna do is probably put the, the sinks and stuff over in that corner. Um, just, I think that this will be good for like sinks. We have the water supply right here. So, you know, the water here too, but we'll probably put the water to the sinks right here and then probably some refrigeration and stuff. So hopefully for cold brew, uh, we can start getting that launched. That would be really nice. I'd be really excited about that. So this would be like kind of our production prep area for wet stuff so to speak. And then, so I'll, mostly I'll bring coffee on this side, is what I'm thinking, and then over here in this little nook. And one thing that's interesting about this space that I'm in currently, um, Vivi, is that all the other ones go to like about here, like the office space, so they're a bit bigger. And it's, it's unfortunate, because we could use that for cafe stuff, but we'll put the roaster here. And this space right here is actually the exact amount of distance and space and size that I need have the roaster. The roaster will probably stick out a couple of feet here to this point, but this is where the roaster is probably going to go. And we'll That's big. Yeah, so the roaster, the roaster has to be like this. this it's like 50 inches, and you have to have two foot on each side of the roaster to go around it and stuff. So it'll be you know, probably like that. Um, we're going to have the venting and go right to the roof, which is nice because we're on the lower part of the roof. The roof slopes up highly, high weight, weight up high back there. So um, we have tons of vertical space, which is nice. Although I'm not going to use that. We have an AC unit, which all the other units do not have AC, and so that's kind of nice for me at least. Um, and then one thing that I'm really excited about is that this thing right here, the garage door, mm -hmm. so we can get coffee deliveries in, in the past. I had, you know, our door was this big, and I'd have to like, sh like take the bags inside one by one, and the delivery guys, they have like a truck, and they'll, they have like this thing, this machine, that they like put on a ramp, and then they can like wheel it all the way in here and take it just like all the way back into the space and just let it sit. So I won't have to like pick up bags ever again, other than to put them like on the, the racks there and stuff. So it's gonna be super awesome. I'm really excited about that. In the summer and the spring, can lift this up, maybe we can invite people inside and stuff like that. What do you think? It's kind of garage door. I mean, it's a garage door still, but like, I'm, I'm the type of guy that gets excited about garage doors. And in here is the really, this is what made me feel like I wanted to come show this before everything, but this is the office pre-everything that we're gonna do. And I'm thinking that my idea right now is that we'll have like a countertop here somewhere. Maybe like a wheeled cart is my, my first thought. And then we'll have like drip coffee set up and you get espresso and like some pastries from Josue. We'll have here and we'll do it for events. We have bags and stuff you can buy. And I'll have pictures of Vivian and everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's the camera. Uh, this desk is gonna be gone, so this is a whatever desk. 
And then we'll have this little bit of space here too. You what know? is this? I don't know. Something. I would keep it. Uh, I don't think it's doing anything. It might be. Who knows? So. I that, think I would hold it. No, 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 you're not. No, 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 I can't hold it. You gotta leave it here, okay? Okay. Um. Let's see if it's still on. Hopefully it is. Yep. Cool. We're still recording. All right. My camera, the reason I stopped that is because my camera sometimes turns off. I think it was my memory card that I was using. But, um, so, uh, this is the office. This is where we'll do our little coffee shop. So it's not going to be a coffee shop necessarily. You know, I just said that. It'll be kind of like a little area where you can come in and we'll have coffee available certain days of the week. So you can buy coffee here? I, yeah, I hope. We're not really supposed to, and you know, like, when it's not really where anybody is, so, like, not, not many people are going to be kind of driving back here, other than people that really want to come, but, uh, yeah, you can buy coffee here. Probably, like, one day, one, one or two days a week is what I'm thinking. Maybe in the future, it'll be, like, seven days, you know, but. Yeah, so this is the space. kind of messed up. They're going to replace, like, literally everything in here. Hopefully this door, too. This door is, like, 19. Freaking. <laughs> The cheapo, cheapo, of the cheapo doors. And I'll have pictures here, probably. Like Wait, what's that note something. say? Get. Best friends. I don't know. I think that's like, I don't know. People are weird. Um, so, yeah, we'll have, this is everything. I can, I can pull my car in through the, the uh, garage door. I can, so when you're helping me bag, we'll have like, uh, shelves and stuff maybe in this area right here is what I was thinking And you, when you help me back you can like load it right into the car and stuff. What is that? This is the electrical panel for it um, It's cool. They have a walk-in control. They had a walk-in fridge here, which I think is what was right over there um, So there's a lot of electricity in this building, which is nice because I'm gonna use a lot of it These are the the breakers that kind of control the electrical stuff. You flip it. It turns off. You flip it. It turns back on It's kind of like a light switch so we'll have shelves there, and we'll have a prep area here, and I'm going to get a bag filler, which is big, and I'll have all my green coffee there, and then sinks and stuff, and we'll have this whole open area to fill up and put stuff in. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Cool, wasn't it? Yeah. It's really cool. Well, thank you so much. Wait, so why much. are there so much... Electric things until it stops right there. There are a lot of electrical outlets because they could. <laughs> I think probably because they ran from the inside and then it probably goes to the back side of the building through here, is my guess. Just what behind is that? I don't know, something just left. But people use a lot of uh, electrical. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hope you find this. Love somebody. All right, that's cute. Um, that's uh, just electrical stuff that we can use. It's nice because I do need a lot of electricity. And the space that I'm at Soha has like three outlets. And I'm so, I'm, I'm outleted. I have tons of outlets, which I'm so excited about. Yeah, but I have one question. Yeah, what question, buddy? is that for? What is this? Yeah. Um. Oh, telephone, digital business telephone. So this might be part of the internet and telephone service. Um, they have a rack system, this is weird. Uh, they might have done, this might have been something installed by a previous tenant that was doing a different type of business and they use a little bit more electrical stuff. Do you know anyone that, that, work, that has one of these? I do not know anybody in this area, no. You should start making friends here. We'll make friends here, yeah. All right, well, how about we, how about we end in the video here? Do you, have any, do you have one final question for me? Go ahead, ask. Um, wait, what is that for? That is for a heater. It's an electrical heater. What they do is the heat. It's like little things in the back. They're not flames or anything. It's just electric, and then it blows the air. I won't need that, though, because I am have a gigantic machine in here. But I have a question. Why is it so dirty when someone used to have it? Dude, I know it's super dirty, isn't it? Well, um, people make messes. And when they're leaving the building, sometimes they're like, I don't care about my mess. They'll let them clean up. And that's what people do sometimes to other people. Would you do that? 
I don't think so. I probably did when I was like 21, 22 in my old apartments and stuff, but I haven't, I don't do stuff like that anymore. Okay. Wait, what is this thing? What is this? This is the internet service. It's Verizon. So that's the internet. You can tell this from or Verizon files. So this is the internet. Uh, just, just like we have at the house. That, that modem right there. Yeah. I'll show you when we get home. I have internet service at Verizon, of course. That's cool. We can get Verizon here. What are all of these for? Uh, the are... types of, uh, these are, this is an electrical outlet. This is an old telephone jack outlet. This, I don't know, could have been another telephone jack. They might've been doing like some internet stuff in here. This might've been like years old. This is like old technology that nobody really uses anymore. Anything else? I don't know. All right, I'm done. Like I'm ready to bounce, buddy. That's the tour of the build. That's the tour of 1879 Old Cuthbert. You're seeing it in the kind of original state. And this is important for me to get because in five, six years that you're following me, I'm trying to, uh, uh, in like five years or six years, you know, everything in here is gonna change and we'll have things positioned differently. We might have a bigger roaster or a newer roaster. You know, it's just gonna look wildly different than the original form. I thought it'd be cool just to record all of this like this. Yeah. Why is the roof so high? Uh, oh, some of the other places in here have like a second story. Like, so what they did is they have like this open space and they built up like kind of like a house inside of here. And so you have an office that you can go up. So they, they, you can still go underneath it, but you can go on top of it too. Wait, how Why do is they- it so high? It's probably for like heating reasons or something. Just wait, wait how do people build up? Well, they just went through the garage door and they brought all the parts in and, you know, put up walls like this and just kind of set them all up and made what looks like a, these little rooms like that. But inside here. Cool. You can build up high here, and this is really high. The ceilings are huge. Yeah. Most places don't have ceilings this high. So we have Wait. a ton of vertical space, which is nice. Wait, Dad, Dad. Yo. What is that long post? Uh -oh. um, what is that? I don't know. That long pole thing. Probably water drain or something like that. Looks like. Water or gas? There's no water in here, though. No, it might just be an unused line. They might not have it. I don't know. That looks like a that's a pipe, so it could be either water or gas. What's that? It's okay. Trash. All right, buddy. Let's bounce. Let's end this video, okay? All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't get that close, guys. They don't be that close. <laughs> okay. Stick string close up. All right, so this is the video that I wanted to show everybody. Thank you so much, my camera woman for operating Vivian. Thank you, and we'll see you later.